Pressures in more than just rain. A Patasaurus has arrived. the Flintstones, in the flesh, all 30 tons. With legs the width of tree trunks and feet almost as big as bicycle tires, Apatosaurus is the elephant of the Jurassic, only 12 times heavier. Sauropods, like Apatosaurus and Camarasaurus, are the largest land animals the world has ever seen. This is the most complete sauropod dinosaur ever found. It's a Camarasaurus, about two years old and already about 19 feet long. The sauropod dinosaurs are the kind of thing we always think about when we hear the word dinosaur. I grew up with Brontosaurus, now correctly called Apatosaurus. If we look around the world in the Upper Jurassic, sauropods are the dominant dinosaur. In fact, in North America, in any particular dinosaur quarry we find, we usually see as many as four different types, some feeding high in the trees, some feeding low, grazing on the surface. They're an immense part of the fauna, very important to the ecosystem. You would think we'd know a lot about these dinosaurs. However, young and their eggs are virtually unknown. In fact, in all of Western North America, extending from Canada down to central New Mexico, we have not found a single sauropod eggshell fragment in the Morrison Basin. If we look at eggs from South America or from Europe, we see the sauropods laid eggs as big as soccer balls with eggshell about a quarter inch thick. While in Western North America in the Morrison, we do get dinosaur eggs, some of which are only two millimeters thick. So you would certainly think we'd be finding sauropod egg if it was here at all. This tells us that these animals were migrating into and out of the basin. Perhaps they were nesting in the lowlands of the mountains to the west or perhaps to the north in Canada along the coast of the sea. Certainly, they weren't nesting and reproducing within the Rocky Mountain region. When a Apatosaurus moves, the earth begins to tremble. Like elephants, these sauropods migrate long distances following the rainy season. Along the way, they graze on ferns and low-lying plants. To accommodate their immense size, Apatosaurus has perfected a way to eat the most amount of food with the least amount of effort. Sweeping its neck in an arc from side to side, it scours the ground like a giant vacuum cleaner.